Okay, ready to go? Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Father James. Uh, we're a little late this week, but uh, better late than never. And we had a good reason. I mean, three days of a blizzard, a nonstop snow. You know, in some places, Nova Scotia, we had over 80 centimeters of snow, and that's not including the snowdrifts. So it was a pretty crazy weekend, and we're still, in many ways, digging ourselves out. I am today drinking my coffee. Don't tell the parish priest that someone's drinking coffee in the pews. Uh, but I'm drinking uh, my coffee this week from my Divine Renovation coffee mug. And the reason I chose this mug this week is because uh, later on today, as I am uh, recording this on Tuesday, the, this week, later on this afternoon, I'm actually getting on a plane. Uh, my final destination is Krakow in Poland. And I'm going there for a meeting, an international meeting of about 110 uh, international leaders of different movements and ministries from around the world who are going to be gathering together in Krakow for three days of discussion, prayer, dialogue. It's hosted by an organization called Global 2033. What does this mean? Well, 2033 is significant for a very important reason to us Christians. Think about it for a second. What do you think that is? Do you know anyone who lived 2,000 years ago who died on a cross at the age of 33 and rose from the dead and created a church, founded a church, and sent that church out to be on mission? Yeah, 2033, nine years from now, is going to be when we mark the 2,000th anniversary of the passion, death, resurrection of Jesus and the founding of the church and the, and the, and the sending forth of the church in, in, into the world. So that's a, a considerable anniversary or in church language we call it a jubilee. And one of the things that all of these leaders of organizations, these ministries that are coming together in Krakow have in common is a passion for evangelization. And we're coming together with, with one central question. Uh, how do we work towards this goal in the Catholic Church that by 2033 we will raise up and equip and unleash 130 million missionary disciples, Catholic missionary disciples, 130 million Catholics who have encountered Jesus, who have come into relationship with Jesus and who are passionate about the mission of Jesus. That's the goal. Now you may think, well that's, a, that's an insane goal. Well. Goals should be insane. Vision for the future should be ins insane. Our goals should be such that unless God shows up and does something miraculous, they're never going to happen. You know, always be suspicious in the world of faith when your goals or your strategy could be achieved or even your vision, even if God doesn't show up, right? So 130 million people and these 110 leaders coming together. So I'm going there with a couple of other members of uh, Divine Renovation Ministry and we're going there, as I said, to, to connect and to discuss and be part of that conversation. Now, many of you know that Divine Renovation is very much a part of my life and ministry still. This is a ministry that was founded in 2016. It was very small at the time. And we have grown. We're now in multiple countries and we have different offices and a lot of amazing people working with amazing parish leaders. Divine Renovation Ministry exists to inspire to equip and connect parish leaders to move their parishes from maintenance to mission. That is just simply, not simply, <laughs> but caring for the sheep, you know, shepherding the sheep. That's, that's what we mean by maintenance, caring for ourselves and moving towards mission. Now it's not one or the other, it's both and, but mission is primary. See, if mission isn't primary, we never get out of maintenance because the needs of the sheep are so great. And part of that move to mission is equipping those sheep uh, to take on ownership of the mission of the church. And I believe this, that even one parish that's on fire and doing this can change the world. And that's why we exist, to inspire, equip, and connect parish leaders to move the parishes from maintenance to missions for what ultimate purpose? That people may come to know Jesus and come into relationship with Jesus. And so 
our goal in that ministry is very much, it fits very well with this global 2033 mission. And I want to finish because I'm going to be away over the, next, the coming weekend. So I want you to, I'm going to ask you to pray for me and, and hopefully to see my absence. Uh, hopefully, well, maybe you experience that as a sacrifice, <laughs> maybe a frustration, but that you see that or experience that as, as our contribution as a parish towards this goal. Divine Renovation itself as a ministry has been praying and discerning about what are we called to do as part of this call to the, to the greater church. And we've been thinking about this for several years now, and we do have a particular vision and goal for 2033 that I want to take a moment to share with you. Now, before I do that, I brought my iPad, and I have some statistics for you. So since the founding of our ministry in 2016, through our events, we've impacted over 5,000 parishes. That's 5,000 parishes. That's with online events and in-person events like conferences. We've engaged with over 22,000 parish leaders in parishes in 95 countries in the world. We've coached, that's a very walking with and coaching 942 priests in 39 countries in nine different languages. So that's a little glimpse at some of the, some of the activity of, of our ministry. Um, so what is our vision for 2033? Well, we have this, we've come up with this, this vision. We're calling it 33 by 33. 33 by 33, well, that's, that's, could sound crazy, but you know, again, you've got to have a God-sized vision. And we believe that in the next nine years, if through God's grace, if we if we continue to grow exponentially through a, a movement of the Holy Spirit, that this is very doable. And now why 33,000? Well, a number of years ago, we looked at all the number of Catholic parishes in the world, and 33,000 is roughly about 16% of all the Catholic parishes in the world. And there's a lot of change theory that actually says if you want to bring change about in an organization, you can begin to tip the scale and, and change momentum towards, towards uh, move momentum towards change once you hit 16%. So with that in mind, that's why we looked at what would 16% be. So that's a crazy vision, a crazy dream for our ministry that we can somehow impact or be involved with impacting that many of many parishes so that those parishes can move in a missionary direction and play their role in bringing that 130 million Catholics uh, into relationship with Jesus to become missionary disciples. And that's why I'm going to be in Krakow, or Krakow, as we say in English. So please, I ask for your prayers, uh, pray for our ministry, and pray for our parish, Our Lady of Guadalupe, that we may be one of those 33,000 parishes. God bless.